Hello and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. It's so nice to be filming again. <laughs> I took a few days off because my family went on vacation and it was a holiday weekend. So it was super nice and relaxing, but I missed talking to you guys or I missed talking to my camera. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you everything we have to do today. We got in late last night and so there's just different areas I need to work on in the house. We've got some laundry. So let's jump straight into today's video. Okay, we're gonna start off in my master bedroom. Um, I feel like this area is always the worst when we get home. I put a lot of stuff away last night. Are you one of those you unpack immediately or do you wait? Like the moment I come in, about five minutes after being home, we had already unpacked and I gave both boys a bath. It was a whole ordeal. But um, I need to put all of this away. Some of this was from this morning. This is like our travel bag. We just keep it packed. If you guys are traveling and you do it a lot, we don't even travel a lot. It's like once a year but we keep everything we need in this bag. So when it's time to travel, I don't have to do anything but pick that up. And we keep it down here. I just need to get it back organized. This is actually all the laundry I have. We always stay at a unit or a condo that has a washer and dryer and it's amazing. I get all the laundry done except like what we sleep in. Most of this is like from what we left before vacation. We left in a hurry so I didn't get it done. But that's all I have so that's super nice. And here, oh, I have a few things to put away. I'm gonna do a clothing try on haul for you here in a second so you can see some new pieces. And then this, sadly, is my mattress topper. I washed all of our sheets before we left and Chase was so nice and put them all on so we'd have clean bedding when we got home. But he forgot the mattress topper. So we slept without it last night, but I need to get it back on. So I'm gonna have to destroy this, put it on, and then put everything back, which shouldn't seem like work, but I don't know, making a king size bed's always work. But let's go ahead and get started. So I always like to start with laundry first just because it can be running while I'm working on other things. So I always like to get that going and then I'll go back and finish cleaning the other areas. I did get a little distracted since I was doing a load of laundry in here. I looked over and this whole area was a little messy, but if I can clean something up in about five minutes or less, I'm gonna go ahead and get it done and then I'll go back to my bedroom to finish up anything that I needed to. Okay, it's gonna be a little loud because my washer's running, but I was able to get that load started. I actually ran out of softener, so I'm gonna have to get that ordered. This whole pile that I brought in is all like dog stuff. My mom watched the boys, so I need to wash like the blankets and the towels and stuff she used, but I always like to do that separate. And then I was also able to clean up this whole side. It was like destroyed. So this room's looking a lot better. All I have to do is switch that load and put this one in and this room will be good to go. So now let's finish back up in my bedroom. Okay, now we're gonna head back to my closet and I do wanna thank Thread Up for sponsoring this part of today's video. I'm gonna um, show you some of the clothes they sent. So like my last video, I did a goodie box with them and it actually terrified me. I'm not a big fan of like fashion. I'm very particular what I wear, so I was scared to let somebody else pick it out. And I was 
in love with the pieces that my stylist chose that I actually did it again and they nailed it again. Like I almost never have to shop for myself again, which is super cool. And what's cool about ThreadUp, here's like what it comes in. It comes like in a boutique box. So I only order from two places. It's ThreadUp and then a family boutique and they both come in cute packaging <laughs> with cute tissue paper. So you would have no idea this stuff secondhand. I absolutely love it. And then I also love it comes with like what the price like was originally right here and then what you paid for it. So you get to see how much savings. So you're like saving the planet and your wallet all at the same time, which is like a win-win for me. <laughs> so let me try on a few of these pieces and then I'm gonna tell you why I love them. Okay, so actually the outfit I'm currently wearing, they picked out for me. So what's so nice is you fill out this quiz it's easy to do if you're very picky like me when it comes to clothes just be picky like tell them what you like so you'll like answer questions but you can also write them something so i told them i'm a medium that's what i tell people so if it runs small go up to a medium if it runs big i rather have a small i told her like the price like i don't like paying over you know 20 dollars for a top and they will stay within your guidelines but then push it just a little bit on some pieces to like get you outside the box and those are always my favorite pieces because if it was me i would never would have bought it I never would have tried it on and then I love it. So that's what I love about having a stylist. So they picked out this outfit. I love the leopard. I told them that was like me living on my wild side. <laughs> they picked out these cute denim shorts. But basically with ThreadUp, you're getting like high end name brands like Loft and Taylor, black and white, whatever it is you wear, Lululemon for up to 90% off. So it's amazing. I love this outfit. Let me throw another one on for you just so you can see how well they do like styling me. Okay, now let's talk about the second outfit. This is where I love how they push me outside of my element. So I'm, I don't pick out white. It's a neutral. They know I love my blacks, but they send me white just to live on the wild side. They're not sending me pinks. They're not sending me crazy colors. They're like pushing me, but just a little bit. Both white tops they've sent. I, they sent me a white top last time too, and I've loved it. I love this one. I would never have picked out. Um, these are like Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. I have not wore Abercrombie and Fitch since I was in high school. And I feel like these jeans were like made for me. Let's talk about prices just so you can understand how good this deal is. Wait, let's talk about the goodie box first so you guys can understand how good of a deal this is. <laughs> so to get your own stylist sending you a box full of goodies is a $10 deposit. $10 and you have your own stylist to pick you out your clothes so you don't have to go shopping, you don't have to pick things out, you get to try them on in your own home where it's safe and you have your own mirrors, your own lighting, you know how it looks. And like I said, typically it's only a $10 deposit which is worth it. What you don't want, you just send back. You just throw it in the box, they send you the label. It's free to send it back, you don't want it, you never get charged for it. Today, if you click on my link, they're even waiving the $10 fee. So it is free. So go click on that link, <laughs> sign up, fill out that quiz. I'm telling you, it's almost fun because you figure out what you really like. Like it kind of refreshes in your head what you like. They're gonna send you a box of clothes and then you only pay for what you keep. So if you only keep one shirt, that's all you're gonna pay for. And you get to tell them the price range. So it's very customized and tailored to you. So as far as this top, I wanted to share with you how good of deals it is. This is a Max, no, a Madewell blouse for $89. I got it for $23.99. $89 top for $23. My jeans that I would never have picked out were $78. I got them for $23 such a steal. Click on the link. I'm going to try on one more outfit for you guys. Okay, so this is the last look I'm going to show you. But once again, it's not something I would have picked out, but I'm in love with it. And that's what's nice about having a stylist. It kind of gets you outside your box, but not too extreme. So first off, let's talk about this like little jumper. It feels like I'm wearing pajamas and this is perfect if you're traveling. So if you're going to be on a plane or in a car, I seriously, this is like pajama material. It's all one piece. If you get hot, you can take off the jacket. If you get cold, you can put it on. So perfect for like a lot of sitting, but when you get out, it's not wrinkled. You're comfortable, super win. First jumper I own, I love it. 
but I'm even more excited about this jean jacket. I've been looking for a new one. So over on Instagram, I shared an outfit with a denim jacket on and I said I had owned it since middle school, which a lot of you were like, score, how many people can say that? And I'm like, probably not many because people probably replace their clothes better than that. <laughs> but jean jackets last a long time and I feel like that's why they're so expensive. And every one I found was just so, so much. They're like $100 and up. I didn't even say I wanted a jean jacket and my stylist sent me a jean jacket. Like that's how good she is. I don't know who she is, but I love her. <laughs> so just real quickly, let's talk about these prices. This denim jacket was originally $60, like the estimated retail was $60. I only had to pay $25.99, which I think is amazing. And then let's see, the jumpsuit was originally estimated at $48 and it was $22.99. So, I love this outfit. Like I said, it's perfect for anything, but just those casual outfits that you need to look put together, but you wanna feel like you're in pajamas, this is it. <laughs> so I do wanna thank ThreadUp again for sponsoring this part of today's video. If you wanna try it risk-free, don't forget to click on that link in the description box and that link will get your $10 fee waived for your own stylist. Um, I used to do all my own shopping on ThreadUp. Like I would search forever finding the pieces I loved and now I don't even have to do that. We're all busy. Let your stylist do it. Let them handle it. Either way, it's a win-win. They're one of the largest thrift stores. So if you want it, they have something like it on there. That's what I love. Especially if you have like a special event coming up, definitely search their site. So thanks again to ThreadUp. Now let's go clean up this closet. I actually decided to change just one more time. I wanted to put something comfy on since I was just gonna be around the house all day cleaning and these pants came up from ThreadUp as well. My stylist sent them to me, so she just does incredible. But as you can see, I'm just like hanging everything up. I had washed and dried everything when it came in, so all I have to do is like make sure it's right side and hang it up and then we're good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put that mattress cover on. Um, I cannot believe we forgot to do this, but it just happens. I think the worst thing about unmaking your bed is if you don't get to crawl into it. If it's evening time and you get to crawl in your bed, then it's to totally worth it, but I knew I was gonna have to make it back. But I just wanted to get this done. I know I could do it the evening before bed, but we're always so tired at that point. I just thought I'd do it while I have all my energy in me. So I'm gonna get this put on and then make the bed back. So I don't wash my mattress topper or cover every time, but since we were coming back from vacation, I just wanted everything clean. So I washed all of our sheets, I washed all the pillowcases, the comforter, even the mattress cover. Um, but like I said, we just forgot to put that part on. But do you guys do that before you leave for a vacation? I just think there's something so nice about coming into a clean house with all clean bedding and all clean sheets. I do it even in Savannah's bedroom. It's just like a nice feeling and calming feeling to walk into. Okay, all that work and it's done. However, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out there. I think Chase did a better job making the bed than I did. Let me know who <laughs> made it best, but this is looking a little wonky. Um, as far as my bathroom goes, I got everything picked up, so that feels good to have everything back in place. And then my closet's all picked up. There's nothing on the floor. Everything was hung up and put away. So. We are feeling very productive today. Everything's looking awesome so far. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking. Now 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch that load of laundry so I can finish up for the day. I did run out of softener like I mentioned earlier, but the stuff I'm gonna be washing for my fur babies, I didn't need softener so it worked out really well. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and hang dry all of our shirts. I typically don't dry any of our shirts, like Chase's, Savannah, or mine, unless it's just like really oversized. And so I like to keep extra hangers in here so I don't have to go hunt them down. I always have extra ones. And I finally switched over where Chase, Savannah, and I all have matching hangers and it makes it so much easier. I can just grab a hanger and hang it up. I'm not looking for somebody's specific hanger. And then we're gonna take a quick walk. I thought I'd share this since I'm not doing many vlogs over on the vlog channel, just so you kind of see real life. But we're gonna walk and then I'll get back to cleaning. Okay, now that we're back from our walk, we just have a lot of random stuff out. So we're gonna clean this up. If this all looks new to you, then you missed my last video. But we did a new little like decorate with me. We're actually having the island painted soon. Um, we're getting a new rug, so definitely be on the lookout for that. But if you wanna see how we got from like our glam look to more of this like Scandinavian modern farmhouse, definitely watch my last video. Okay, so this whole pile is of returns. We had bought it all. We were gonna start another little side biz, but I honestly decided I just didn't have it in me. So we had bought all this stuff and we're gonna go ahead and return all of it, but that's okay. So I needed to just put it in a bag so Chase could put it in the car and take it. Um, and the rest of the kitchen, I'm just gonna clean up. We had like chargers out from vacation. Um, just small stuff like that. So, you know, it's fidgets were out. So I was just putting everything away in its home and where it belongs. And now I'm going to go ahead and just spray down all the countertops and get those clean. Also wanted to let you guys know why I'm wiping all this stuff down. I think most of you know like Rebecca and her daughter Shara both moved um, into my state. They're really about 30 minutes away but they have Ken Woven. They're here on YouTube. I'll link them down below but they're also over on Instagram. Well she's having a huge designer sell because she has so much stuff left over from her move that she doesn't need in her new home. So I'm actually going to be going to it and filming it. So if you want to see that and see all the goodies I find plus I'll be showing you parts of her house that I'm in. Um, she's definitely okayed it. She knows I'm coming. Definitely be on the lookout out for that video because I can't wait to film it and share it with you guys. So I finally have the kitchen all clean. I feel like it's kind of slow moving today but like everything's getting done and I just like to wipe everything down, not because it's gotten dirty, because obviously we haven't been here, but I feel like things get just dusty when you're not living in it. Plus I just like the scents and the smell it brings. So I'm happy with how it's going. Probably gonna work on my office next and then everything's just about done. Okay, I got my office finished, but I do want to do another thing, which is a vacuum and clean my floors. So typically before we leave for vacation, I make sure my house is spotless. I clean everything and the floors is the last thing. But like I mentioned, we end up leaving like a day earlier. It was like unexpected, but it was fun, spontaneous. But a lot of things didn't get clean and my floors were one of them. 
and we do have our house sprayed like every two months for bugs and it was sprayed just a few days before we left and that's always when you start seeing like the dead spiders and stuff around your baseboards plus we were gone so i want to vacuum it all up i am gonna probably mop too because george was so excited to see us when we got home that he like ran through our mulch which was like muddy and full of water because we had so much rain and then ran inside and i swear there's like mulch everywhere and he's like velcro everything like sticks to him and then like falls off inside our house so i'll just feel better when the floors are clean so let's do that now some reason I feel like this house is so much harder when it comes to keeping my floors clean and not so much keeping them clean but just cleaning them themselves between like vacuuming and mopping I feel like it's a complete workout like if I were just to vacuum my whole house I feel like it's a workout and then if I had mopping on top of it I'm like sweating when I'm done and what's funny is I did it in my last house almost every day and that house wasn't that much smaller than this one but those you know little bit of square footage that we added on really makes a huge difference I'd say it's because there's more tile maybe you know like mopping takes longer but vacuuming should be about the same whether it's on carpet or tile I don't know I just always feel like it's so much work and I don't do it near as often as I did in the last house If, if you've been around for a little while, have you guys noticed a tiger doesn't chase and attack my vacuum like he used to? He's done it like a few times, I think, in a, like a couple recent videos, but I've just noticed he's starting to get a little bit older. Like even on walks, I feel like sometimes I have to pick him up and just like give him a break while we're walking. But I've noticed it like on walks and with my vacuum, he's just not as frisky as he used to be. And it kind of makes me sad, but I didn't know if you guys had noticed or missed him attacking the vacuum like he used to. Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Wide awake is the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading in So in my last video, if you missed it, I talked about for these frames, you can kind of see them up there on the wall. I put vacation spots that we love to travel to. So we basically only travel to three places and it's Arizona, Destin, and Savannah. And so I put black and white photos of the most favorite spots we like to go when we're in those places. And it's just such a cool thing. Like I love family photos and we have them in a few other areas in the house, but I thought it was just really neat to add that touch of like our favorite places. So you'll have to let me know. Do you guys do that? Do you think it's a neat idea? I just thought it was just a way to bring a little piece of heaven and vacation home with us. Now I'm gonna finish up with mopping my floors. So I showed you vacuuming some rooms. Now I'm gonna show the other rooms of me mopping. If I were to show you the whole thing, this video would be so long, but I'm just gonna go ahead and work on a few spots. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's video and hanging out with me. I wanna thank ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. You guys, I really do use them even when they're not sponsoring me. I think it's a very cool company. I love buying high-end clothes at great prices. Anytime I can save money, it's a win. Don't forget to click on that link down below in my description box and you'll get that $10 fee waived on your goodie box. Definitely try it out right now. It's free, so there's no risk and I promise you, you're gonna love it. I was so scared to do it and now it's like the best thing ever. So don't forget to click on that link and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.